Pass it up, that one.
little bit of pressure on me, I'd say. Well, I never saw it. This, now is, you know. this is your kind of pressure. Here. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Two, take one. Well, okay, we're going to have the continuing story of the rubber match. Okay? Everybody remember what happened to the rubber man last time? Now, uh, the last time we didn't have Michelle and Brother Michael, did we? So we were just a little bit more quiet here, and I'm not sure that Michelle and John Michael are going to really appreciate this story yet. But maybe someday that they'll be able to appreciate it. But what we're going to do this time is we're going to tell you a little bit about the rubber man's family, okay? Now, do you realize that the rubber man and his family live in Rubbertown, USA? <laughs> did you know that? No. That's where they live. And you know it's Robert and Ruth Rubberman the, are the family. They're the mother and the dad. And you know what the kids' names are? What? Randy and Rosie. And they're twins. And they're, you know, you know when they were born, they were just little, like, the same size as tennis balls. Did you know that? What's the Rubberman? His name's Robert. Robert Rubberman. And his wife is Ruth Rubberman. Okay? And the last name is Rubberman. And then we've got Randy Rubberman. He's one of the little twins. And we got Rosie Rubberman. Okay? And Rosie and Ruth were born, oh, about 12 years ago. And they were twins. And they were identical twins. Except one was a boy and one was a girl. Okay? And, as I said, when they were born, they were just the size of a tennis ball. You know what size they are now? They're the size of beach balls. And they're getting bigger and bigger and bigger every year. I bet next year they could be the size of a big weather balloon. Because you know what the size of Robert Rubberman is? Robert Rubberman is the guy that visited us about three years ago. He was the guy. He didn't have his family with him that year when he came down to Fairfield Bay. But he is just a great big old guy, almost as big as this whole condominium Robert is. And his wife is just a little bit smaller. That's Ruth. But Rosie and Randy are still the size of a bottle of beach ball right now. And you know the size of beach balls, don't you? Yeah. Huh? They're kind of big, you know, kind of big. Well, you know what they did? They bounced down. They got a rubber mobile. And they got the rubber mobile, and they bounced all the way. This thing doesn't run on wheels. It just bounces. And they bounced all the way down to Fairfield Bay because they heard about Fairfield Bay. And Robert had been there once before. Did Robert and Ruth Well, Robert and Ruth and Randy and Rosie, they all came, the whole gang. And they had heard about Fairfield Bay, but they got an invitation in the mail. And then the <laughs> invitation in the mail said that they could have three days and two nights free. And all they had to do was come down here and spend some money. And they said, well, I said, we got lots of rubber money because everything we got bounced. <laughs> all of our checks and everything bounced. So we got the rubber money. So, anyway, what they did was they came down to Fairfield Bay in their rubber mobile and they bounced and they bounced and it was a long bouncing trip because Rubber, rubber Town, USA is a long ways from here, a lot further than Mama and Illinois. You know where Mama is, you? But anyway, they got down to Fairfield Bay and they pulled up to their condo and after they checked in, and do you know what was parked right next to the rubber? Mobile. <laughs> An Aerostar. Blue one. Right next to it. And they could not figure out. They'd never seen a car like that before. A little old blue Aerostar. And Randy said to Rosie, What kind of a car is that? And Rosie said, I have never seen the like of anything like that before. That's the funniest fucking thing I've ever seen. So anyway, they went into their car. And it was pretty dark that night when they got there because they got there late because their car doesn't bounce so fast. And when they got to the condo, why it was dark, and they got it, you know when Robert Rubberman goes into a condominium the size, of, almost the size he is, well he started bouncing around and Ruth was bouncing around and Randy and Rosie started bouncing around and you know who was next door to them? The people in that arrow star name was Linda, and it was a Jeanette, and it was a Troy, and I tell you what, there was a rumbling that you can't believe, and Troy said to Jeanette, what is that rumbling over there? 
And Jeanette said, I don't know. And you know where their mother and dad was? David and Peter were playing tennis. And I tell you what, Troy said to Jeanette, that's a rumbling that I have never heard before, and I'm scared. And Jeanette said to Troy, well, I'm scared too. So anyway, what they did was Troy got on the phone, and you know who he called? He called me. Yeah, you're right. How'd you know? You tell the story, I'm telling the story. Well, anyway, he called, and he said, Bob, he talked to Carolyn. And he said, Carolyn, could somebody come over here? Because there's just a rumble in the night, and our condominium is just jumping all over the place. <laughs> so I went over there, because Carolyn said, Bob, I don't want to go. You go. And I said, being the man that I am, I'll go over, because I don't want Troy and Jeanette to get hurt by anything. So I went over there to your house, and I drove over in my car, and I looked as I pulled up, and I saw this funny-looking rubber thing out there in front. And I said, what kind of a deal was that parked out in front? I didn't tell you this the other night, because that rubber wheel was parked there. But, so, I went in, and I couldn't hear a thing. I couldn't hear a thing. You know why I couldn't hear a thing? Did it all stop? Everything had stopped, didn't it? Did I hear a thing when I went over there? No. And not a single thing. So you know, what had happened was that they had decided that they were going to roll down the swimming pool. At night? At night. It was night. It wasn't 9 o'clock yet, so the swimming pool was still open. So they rolled down there. They didn't bounce. They rolled down there. So they were rolling down the swimming pool, and they had themselves a real good swim. And, well, look at there. There's one of them right now. Coming in here right now with a, looks like a rubber. Looks like rosy rubber man. <laughs> but anyway, so, well, they had themselves a, just a wonderful swim. And they came back to the condo, and then they were quiet. Bob went back home because, because Troy and Jeanette weren't, and, and David Peter finally came home from playing tennis. They'd been there a long, long time letting their kids all by themselves. And so uh, we got them all taken care of. And Michelle had waking up because she heard this rumbling too. And oh, Michelle was really shook up. But she was fine and mommy took good care of her. So we came back to the condo then. And then the next day, why the rubber man and his wife and his kids all went out to play golf. And you know who was playing golf right behind them? I was playing golf with Dave, and you were driving the cart. And the rubber man had a cart, too, and he was whipping right down there, you know, driving right down. And they went down on the back nine over there, and they went down one hill. And you followed them right down, and you know what happened? Troy's going to turn the machine off right now. Oh, Troy just went off the side of the mountain just about because you saw that rubber man. Isn't that what happened? You saw the rubber man, and you just took your eyes completely off the road. And old Troy, Dave, he got a little shook there for a minute because he didn't see the rubber man, but you saw him out of the corner of your eye. And you couldn't believe what you'd seen, could you? And there Why was tell me that? There was the rubber man, and Troy just about went, oh, just about topsy turvy, didn't you? It was close, but not that close. No big deal. <laughs> so anyway, we had a real good round of golf, and the rubber man, he, uh, Rosie didn't play, but Robert and uh, Randy played, and they had a real good game, but I tell you, when they hit the ball, they do it a little bit different. They just kind of bop it with their, with their tummy, because they're so big, and the ball just kind of bounces right off of them and goes into the hole. He said to Robert Rubber Man, what are you doing up here on the mountain? What kind of a person is this? Because, I mean, when you see a round person like that, you just begin to kind of wonder about it. But anyway, Troy and Greg and the Rubber family had a wonderful time at Fairfield Bay. And you know what they did? They got so carried away, they gave a rubber check to the salesman, Mark Koonsman, and they purchased the condo right next to you. So you know what that, that means? They're going to be back next year. And you know what that means? More Rubberman stories. Right? Yay.
Have you got the Michelle? What? Have you got Peter putting your hand on her, on her hip? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> The only thing we didn't get was our action uh, with the bolts. Our action was the Those are the golf balls in there. Oh, I wish we had that. Did you get that? Yeah. What are they doing? Just put them there. Hi, Michelle. <laughs> Jeanette's eating her ham and cheese sandwich. <laughs> Grandpa's having his right. cut has a cigarette box. Teacher is watching the kids. You got me this morning. Boy, that was worth the trip down. Carolyn is relaxing. <laughs> Honey. She's brushing herself off. It does look like she did. Yeah. Michelle. But she didn't quite make it. <laughs> Troy, get her because she's going over that way, honey. Oh, That's the last time we were here. You were here two years ago, right? We were here three years ago. We were here. We really didn't know they did a good job. We have to get three years since we've been here. And credit for knowing. Icky, Icky John, Icky. That's, That's it. A good boy. Where did we go the first Last year? Can you see? You're going to have to follow and get in front of us. Ready? Huh? It's just, you know, it's not a game at all. Can you see? <laughs> <laughs> this is hard to do, Michelle. Well, you need to be. Can you wave at Grandpa? Huh? Hi, Grandpa. Hi, Grandpa. Well, honey, it's hard to do. John Michael, is that fun? John Michael. Can you see his face? Be nice. That's sugar. That's sugar. Is there no horse's name sugar? Mm -hmm. That's sugar. Say bye bye. Bye bye, horse easy. Okay. 
John Michael? We understand that those slides have been available at the White House. I'll take your clothes up and get in. Come on, we can play. Come on, everybody. Your mommy do it? June 26, 1988, Fairfield Bay, Arkansas. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Who should I start with? Well, give Randy a punch. Uh -huh. And, um, and I, I think I see Aunt Clara's gift to you right the camera? over there. Yeah. She always sends you such wonderful presents. Give me that little thing Hold on to it, John. Oh, I got a 
I do. Thank you, darling. Yes, very much. Very much. Christopher. Christopher. Immediately, my feet began to sweat as those two fluffy little bunnies with the blue button eyes stared sappily up at me. Come down here so I can see you better. I just hoped that Flick would never spot him, as the word of this humiliation could easily make life at Warren G. Harding School a veritable hell. <laughs> <laughs> That is the most precious thing I've ever seen in my life. Getting close up. Yeah. Thank God we could look at that tonight. We're going to play in the papers. Murphy. Hold on. We're ready to do last year. Can you do it again? Time is it right now, Greg? Emma's way is not bad. Five to eight. Watch it. No, no. Yeah, pretty nice. Good job. Did you get everything you wanted? Pick up that cracker over there. Mm -hmm. Almost. I'm taping you, Greg. Yes, I am. Oh. It's not recording right now. Oh, darn. Michael rode a pony today.